guys, I'm down here at good old River Hills Park. There's a little bit of wind, man. You can see that there's a good breeze coming through here. I don't think it's enough that it's really going to mess with the uh, e-hang too much, but I thought it would be fun to kind of take it out here and uh, see if we can do some waypoints over the water, man. We'll take it up to uh, above the tree line so we know we're not going to hit anything, and uh, we'll see how things go, man. So uh, let's get this uh, ghost drone in the air. Alrighty guys, we're waiting on the app to collect some satellite data here real fast. It says locating satellites, please wait. Currently connected. Nine satellites found. I have the G-Box in my uh, pocket right here. So we're going to wait till we get a few more satellites. I know it only needs six, but we're going to go ahead and wait. It's, uh, it's located my takeoff point here. So this is a good thing. Let's see if I can zoom out on the map. Okay, cool. We'll zoom out a little bit more here. All right. So, I think we're good to go here, guys. Let's put it up in the air and see how it does. Oh, I almost forgot to start my camera, y'all. Make sure my uh, gimbal's good. Let's go ahead and readjust the gimbal a slight bit here. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Right about there, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the camera here. Camera has been started. Adjust the tilt controls just a little bit more here. Make sure it's looking straight out the front. Excellent. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take off here. See how much the wind messes with it. All right, I put her in hover because there's some power lines up there. I'm gonna go ahead and push forward out here. 95% battery. Go ahead and take it out over the water a bit here. Excellent. I'm going to take her up a bit. There we go. Get some good aerial footage here. Way above the trees. All right. Let's see if I can tap to do waypoint. No, no. No, no. We're not going to do that. Let's tap here and go so it's easy it's just going to take off now in that direction oh yeah this is cool this is cool look at it man doing its own thing out there really cool all right let's choose a new direction here we're going to take it over here right from there to there. Let's see how it does. Look at all the birds flying around it. That's crazy. Dude, it's just cruising out there, man. This is super cool. This is a fully autonomous bird, man. That. that is awesome. Sending her way up the river here. All right, let's start bringing her back here. Let's see how it does on this one. Remember guys, if you ever think it's gonna hit anything, you can always just push pause and it'll hover. She's coming back. She's coming back. A little windy out here. You can see the wind's definitely picking up. Let's let her reach her destination. Is 
She's coming in. Pretty cool, man. Pretty darn cool. There we go. She just reached her next waypoint. We're going to put her in hover. So I have manual controls again. We'll go ahead and drop her down here. Oh, it's a little fast, Dan. Let's come down a little slower than that. All right, so just watch your descent, man. She gets a little unstable. Actually over the water here. Let's keep bringing her down. Let's go ahead and rotate. Rotate the body towards me if I can. Oop, that's the wrong way. Should be right there. A little bit more this way. And we'll see if I can bring her in here. See if I can bring her in. <laughs> this is cool. All right. Got to get used to these controls, though. All right, let's bring her down a bit. This is cool. Bring her down. Bring her down. Let's bring her forward just a tad here. All right, let's go ahead and hit land. And it should power up, power down, lock the motors. Awesome, man. Awesome, man. Totally awesome. I see the gimbal tilted forward more. So, I should have probably put the gimbal up at its highest point. But it is what it is. We'll see how that footage looks, man. Cool. That was an easy flight, man. This thing is super easy to use, and I was out there giving it waypoints, cruising out over across the water, so that's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet bird, down to 43% battery. So like I said, our flight time's around 10 minutes, and uh, that's what I'm getting currently right now, is about 10 minutes of flight time. Let me stop this recording here. There we go. Let's bring the camera back up. Boop. So when I started, I should have probably put the camera all the way up. It is what it is. We'll see how that flight footage came. I knew I shouldn't have left it down at an angle like that, but whatever. Definitely got some dust blowing around here. Let's go ahead and turn this off. There we go. Cool, man. Awesome flight. Let's unplug this bugger. I was super happy with that flight. That was in waypoint settings mode and manual control by just moving your thumb around. It's always, always in headless mode though. You just have to remember that. If you want to go right, push your thumb right. You want to go left, push your thumb left. Doesn't matter what way the body's yawed. If you pull back, it's always going to come back. So it's always, 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 unless you're in avatar mode, it is always in headless mode. So, but still very cool. Now we also noticed something. I'm going to go home and try this. On the bottom, there's a USB plug right there. We think you don't have to remove the camera. To transfer data we think you can plug right into this port and you can just remove it without having to take the camera on and off we're going to test that when we get back to the house so that was the first real flight with waypoints and stuff of the e-hang over the water you know i got a big pair of brass ones guys i don't like to play man i like to come out here and, and find out what's going to happen so there you go i put my brass ones to the test we came out on top we're good to go all right guys toodaroo